Hi everyone, this is the shorter version of the uh, longer note taking video. If you've used Obsidian before, this is a methodology part of the video. Um, and you don't need to know the watch the rest, which is about how to use Obsidian. Um, so watch that one. If you've never used Obsidian, watch this one if you have. I want to show you today how I use Obsidian to take my bug bounty notes and how you can too. But first, we've got to thank today's sponsor. Um, this video is very kind of sponsored by Integrity. Integrity is a very fast growing bug bounty platform. So what a bug bounty platform is, is they have like the targets, they allow you to report the bugs, and they're the people that pay you out um, and kind of make deals with the, um, with the targets, right? Because they're so fast growing, they have so many opportunities. So the scope changes all the time and they email you when there's no new scope changes, which is really nice. Um, there's plenty of fresh things to hack on, both on the public programs and the invite only programs. And I'll be honest, I really love working with them because they're really huge supporters of the community of Bug Bounty, right? They don't just sponsor my content but other creators too. I know a lot of people have already signed up. They're either hacking on integrity, maybe they've got crates of Red Bull from integrity, or you know, if they're not quite ready to jump into um, hacking just yet, maybe they're doing things like the XSS challenges that they run. And I'm really happy for everyone who's found some success on integrity. If you also want to join them and hopefully find some success on integrity, um, you can use my link on screen, go.integrity.com forward slash Katie. That's go.integrity.com. It's on screen. It's in the video description. Let's talk about note taking. Okay, so how do we actually do this? How does this apply to bug bounty notes? Let's talk specifics. So step one, keep a fleeting note open at all times. As soon as you see something interesting on Twitter, an interesting article, an interesting video on YouTube, copying in some fleeting note into some information about why it was interesting. You don't have to read it right away. You can review it later and decide. If you're in a flow or if you're taking a break, don't push yourself to like stress about this. Focus on whatever you're doing that's evidently more important. Just throw it in there so you don't lose it. So across a day, you know, you have a daily note. Across a day, you end up collecting a few of these. And then it's triage time. So when you have the time, you have the bandwidth, go through those notes and say, you know, are there something you want to action now? Like, do you want to spend your lunch break reading a blog article? Is it something you want to read maybe later? Maybe you want to get to it in the evening once you're done with work? Or maybe not at all. Maybe you decide, actually, you know what? Um, you know, this article about mass assignment is really interesting and it's always good to better understand something. I don't know much about Nucleae, but I don't know if Nucleae is, um, like gonna really help me find bugs. A lot of people are already using it. It's gonna just lead to me getting duped, so I'll focus on the first two. You can always revisit things at a later date. You don't have to throw this note away. <laughs> you can always come back to it. And as long as you write like a few notes about why it was interesting, you could then search for Nuclei at a later date and get all of that information about Nuclei that you've got in your daily notes and recall it. So the next step is really to create a reference note. So let's say you take the file upload attacks. Um, so we just fill it in. So we add some tags, we add the author, we add the reference, in this case, the URL. And then we make some notes on it. So we make kind of summary. What is it? Blog post, which covers the basic attacks that a file upload page might be vulnerable to. Um, it has this really nice mind map. So we'll download that and copy that into our notes. Um, again, we want to um, make sure our tags are the context we want to find this in again. So in this case, file upload and techniques. Like I want to make it clear that if we see a file upload, this is a list of techniques we can start with. We can then build upon this later and um, go and say, actually, you know, let's look at each specific file upload technique from this link. So always record a link so you can go back to it. Level of detail doesn't really matter. So my recommendation for learning some, something very quickly, um, do it multiple times. The first time you read, watch and listen to something, you should skim it. You should get the gist of it. You should work out if it's worth continuing to read this more deeply. My main thing from that would be, you know, what do you need from it? What are you getting out of it? 
e.g. you might be thinking, well, what vulnerabilities do file uploads have? Like really general, what can I do with this? Then you read it again, read properly and aim to answer those questions. But also note what isn't well answered. So what is the gap? What do you need to do next? What like questions do you have remaining that actually the article didn't mention? That tells you where you need to go next, what you need to look up next, what you need to Google next. And that's how you can build like a really fleshed out um, note taking system. So you can then build this into your knowledge base. So maybe we don't just read this one, but we read a few other examples. Um, we might want to store things like interesting payloads, thoughts, examples. We then start to build up our knowledge base. Um, you know, there's many types of file upload vulnerabilities and we care about the most impactful. So this is our kind of personal wiki. This is how we start to build it. So from that, we might be thinking, ah, we don't actually have any content on path traversal. So we'll create a new note. We can then build up upon this in more detail. Um, and this is kind of not a direct underneath because we can access, you know, path traversal in many different ways. Um, so this is kind of a, ch a sibling note, but we might want to make a child note for something like image tragic and image magic vulnerabilities in general. And then we can see the hierarchical structure payoff. And then as we read more and more and more, and we start to kind of build up our graph here, um, we can then begin to see what's missing. Like what, what is missing from this? What are we, what resources haven't we read? What could we improve upon, etc. So we just read more and more. We maybe start a note on image tragic and the graph gets bigger. And maybe we add RCEs and the graph gets even bigger. And then you can start to see here that, you know, we have a kind of interesting structure playing out here. We've got quite a few of these that kind of link into file upload vulnerabilities, but only one of them links to RCEs. So we can then start to see this kind of technique pay off. So how would you then use it when you're actually hacking? When we come across a file upload, we can easily recall the notes related to file uploads. We can see the links between the notes. We can start at file upload vulnerabilities and go down. Um, if you write up your findings, you might already have like existing notes, existing vulnerabilities, existing like how you found it. So we can then start to build up that way. So, okay, how do we end up using these, these notes? Um, we then can go, oh yeah, here you go, back notes. Um, we can then, you know, go and access these really easily and just go down this chain. Now, if you want to steal my setup, you absolutely can. Um, I put it on GitHub for you. It will be linked in the video description, but it is called Bug Bounty Knowledge Base. Um, I'm still working on mine. It's not perfect. But if you want to steal what's in this video, you absolutely can. You can take this, you can clone it, open it up in Obsidian and it'll be done. Um, you will need some plugins. So my recommended plugins are Templator, which allows you to have templates really easily. So when you start a note, you can have, you know, the templates you need. Um, Zettelcast in Prefixer gives each Zettelcast in note a unique identifier. It's useful if you end up naming every note file uploads, you can tell them apart. Daily Notes, which gives you a button for fleeting notes. And you can also make it so when you start up Obsidian, it loads a daily note. Backlinks in document, which just shows you backlinks at the bottom of the page, which just means less clicking. Tag Wrangler makes dealing with tags slightly easier so you don't end up creating a ton of tags you use once or use like twice and then never again and helps you kind of filter out tags and stuff like that. So with that, I'd like to thank you very, very much for watching. Um, I, I know this has been a long time coming. I really appreciate your patience with everything. Like genuinely, thank you very much. Um, thank you very much to Integrity for sponsoring this content. Um, I really don't take having an advertiser lightly on my channel. I genuinely think they do amazing things for the community. And it's really allowed me to make serious investments in this channel. Things like improving the audio, improving the editing. Um, but also they do really great things for the hacking community. Um, they're so active on social media. They're always replying to hackers. So please give them a lot of love from my community to theirs. You can sign up with my link on screen in the video description. And really my next thanks has to go out to my Patreon supporters. Now, I really want to say that my Patreon supporters have been, you know, kind of amazing. <laughs> 
over the last few weeks because obviously I haven't been making content but they're still supporting me and um, yeah it's just it's incredible so if you'd like to join them you can sign up in my patreon it's in the video description um, there are like different um, levels and different levels give you different benefits from getting videos like this one early to getting things like um, your name read out so with that I'd like to thank Ashley Hall, David, Bruna, Sean Doddy, Forest Held, Patreon, Wardle Castles, Gynevale, Ram and James Clee. Thank you very much to those top tier Patreon supporters. I really appreciate their support. Genuinely amazing people. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week. We're going back onto weekly content, I promise. Um, we'll see you next week with a video all about um, automating idol. <laughs>